drive after you want me to help you get? No, Johnny will be out in a minute. He's probably making his last rounds. Good. Gives me time to cuddle. You drive yourself home and build a fire. Because this is more fun. Oh, you happy? That's a heck of a question to ask a guy about to start an eight-hour shift. <laughs> Answer it. Are you happy? Very happy. So am I. And so is Fred Jr. Still convinced it's going to be a boy. Positive. Today at the doctor's office, he kicked so hard, I told the nurse to call the L.A. Rams and have him drop a contract. <laughs> How did I ever get you? Just lucky, I guess. Not as lucky as I am. Fred? Oh, <laughs> hi, Johnny. Hi, Fred. Hi, Mrs. Kobe. How are you? No complaints, Johnny. How goes the battle? The usual. Very quiet. Good. Get straight home. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Oh, honey, your sweater. I don't need it. Take it. It's getting colder. Johnny, you make sure he's got this on before he leaves. Right. She sure fusses over you. Yeah, you know something? What? I like it. You can lock it when you leave, Johnny. Oh, okay. What was it you couldn't say in front of Linda? No, oh, it's the Royal Warlocks, that neighborhood gang I told you about. They broke in again tonight. Any damage? No, I caught them near the prop department. They didn't even have time to spring the lock. You still haven't found out how they get in? No, but if I was you, I'd check that Grover Street site when you make your first rounds. I wonder what they want. <laughs> Trouble, Fred. And be careful, they're mean, real mean. I can handle them. I'm sure you can, but there's no shame in calling the police, either. I've been here 25 years. I haven't had a call for outside help. 25 years? Well, you, I can't see doing this for 25 years. No way. Well, it wasn't what I wanted, either. I wasn't always a security guard here. Sure, I didn't know that. What you used to do before? I was an actor. I was a featured player. I made over 10 films for this studio. See that picture up there, top right? It's me. Satan's Revenge. <laughs> That's wild, Fred. Why didn't you stay an actor? Well, my last film, A Bridge, exploded too soon and blew up my leg. Afterwards, at the hospital, Mr. Fillmore himself Told me I had a job with the studio as long as I wanted it. It's worked out. To sure. How's college coming? <laughs> I really have to cram tonight. Math, physics, art history. I'll never make it. Sure you will. I envy you. <laughs> that makes us even, Fred. Good night. Good night.
look like much. He never did. private property. You're trespassing. Now come on out of there. This way, Fred. Exactly 30 seconds. Every one of you. I'm going to call the police. Is that what you want? <laughs> you kids have had it this time. Fred! I'll be right with you, 
Charlie. Don't tell me I finally caught you sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. I just lost track of the time, that's all. How about some coffee? Not today, Charlie. Linda hasn't been sleeping too well lately, and uh, I better get home. You don't look too good yourself. What's the matter, something wrong? Yeah. Watch out for that neighborhood gang. The Royal Warlocks, they found some way to get onto the lot, and they've been running Johnny and me ragged. Don't worry about it. I can handle them. That's what I thought. But these kids are tougher and trickier than any kids I ever saw. They know this lot almost as well as I do. They even got into a projection room somehow, and... And what? Just keep an eye out, that's all. Go on home, Fred. Kids are kids. I'll manage. Don't say I didn't warn you. OK, you warned me. You scared me. Please don't ever do that again. Sorry, honey. I thought you'd still be sleeping. No, I got up with the sun. Good to see you. Isn't it a beautiful morning? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't notice. What's the matter, honey? Did you have a bad night? No, no, no. I'm just tired. A couple hours sleep, I'll be as good as new. Hey, let's go shopping this afternoon. Okay. Set the alarm for one, and I'll have a fantastic breakfast waiting for you. Ham and eggs and lots of black coffee. Sounds great. Then make a down payment and I'll hold your reservation. See you in a couple of hours. We'll be waiting. Watching TV. Yeah, I always do when I'm ironing. You want to laugh? It's one of those old scary movies your studio made. Pictures like that aren't good for you, especially now. <laughs> it's fun watching a bunch of monsters terrifying somebody and suddenly realize the third ghoul from the left is my loving husband. Cut it out. That's not funny. Fred, what's the matter with you? I'm sorry. I, uh, I had some aggravation at work last night. What happened? Well, this, uh, this gang of neighborhood kids snuck in and had me running around like crazy. Did you catch them? Well, that's what's so weird. I didn't even see them. Honey, why don't you let me call my Uncle Jack? Hey, I'm not looking for a handout. 
He offered you a job. Honey, I'm not a salesman. I'm a security guard. I've got a job. Yeah, well, that's going to be over in two weeks anyway, so why wait? Linda, you're forgetting the bonus, $5,000. If I quit now, before the studio closes, I lose her. And you know how much we're counting on it for the baby. Well, what if that gang keeps making trouble? I'll handle them. I've been told I have uh, quite a way with the younger generation. Especially when they get to know me. Yeah, you say that to all your wives. Just the fat ones. Graveyard shift ought to be checking in. Midnight to dawn. Like clockwork. Let's go have some fun. as quiet for you tonight as they were for me. No trouble? No, not a bit. See you later, Fred. Okay. Don't forget to lock the gate on your way out. Sure. Good night. Good night. Where are you going? Good to see you back, Fred. We were afraid you weren't coming. Who are you? Where are you? Soon, Fred. All in good time. What are you doing here? I missed you. I couldn't stop thinking about you being all alone out here. You shouldn't be here. I made you surprised. 
Say, Jack, you know who this is? <laughs> Eric, would you look at this? Uh, here I come, here I come. I got me a gorilla. Hey, man, you look like my stepmother. <laughs> Even my old lady wouldn't know who I was with this stuff on. Your favorite cookies. That's fine, honey. Why don't you just leave them there? And... You have to eat at least one of them. Honey, that gang is back. Are you sure? Yeah, I heard them. They even called me by name. What are you gonna do? Fred, call the police. No, I'll handle them. Please, I wanna go with you. No, now you stay here. It's all right, honey. 
You're safe. We're home. I called Charlie Durham to fill in for me. I still don't know what happened. It was that gang. I thought I chased them all off. Why didn't you stay put, like I told you? I heard something. Someone. I thought it was you. Fred, they were so horrible and grotesque. What happened to them? I don't know. By the time I got to you, they were gone. They're not coming back. How can you be sure? Honey. Fred, please. They had me surrounded. They're evil and dangerous. Please don't go back there anymore. What about the bonus? No bonus is worth it. I'd worry about you every night. Is that what you want? I'll call your Uncle Jack in the morning. Thank you. You'll see, honey. Everything will work out for the best. Sure. Hey, you'll do fine, Fred, once you get the hang of things. But I've never sold anything in my life. Not even newspapers when I was a kid. So what? I can tell you really like people, and that's mighty important in this business. Anyway, I handle a good line of cars, so they practically sell themselves. All my salesmen do is uh, provide the fountain pens. I wish it was as easy as you make it sound. It is. I'll prove it to you. This uh, hubcap is missing. Oh, we'll take care of that. I'd like to call your attention to the tires. Well, they seem in pretty good shape. <laughs> Hood's stuck. Oh, a little bit. The service department will take care of that. Lights work. Horn works. What about the radio? Well, let's try it. Fred, we need you. Come back where you belong. We need you desperately. Stop it! What's the matter, Fred? Save us. There's so little time. You and Linda, we need you. Come back. Shut up! You hear me? Shut up! Hey, take it. Don't you hear them? Hear what? Voices. They, they keep following. Fred. Listen, listen! I... It's all right, Fred. Maybe you've been working too hard. We can try it again when you feel up to it. Call me in a week or so, huh? You're early tonight. Yeah, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd give you a break. Good, I can use it. I'm loaded with homework. Any trouble? Quiet, like a church. Got an exam in the morning. Can use the study time. Ah, uh, you're gonna do okay. It's never quiet for me. I ran those kids out of here again last night. Oh, did you find out how they were getting in? Yeah. Good. Real good. Okay, Fred, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Uh, by the way, Linda called. She was worried she hadn't heard from you. Thanks. OK, bye, Fred. Good night, Johnny.
alone. I'm not afraid of you. Do you hear me? I'm not afraid. You can't hurt us. Not even me, Fred. Mr. Fillmore. Nobody told me you were coming by. Would you believe I own the place? I don't even have a key. Anything in particular you'd like to see? No, I, I just wanted to take one last look around. You know, to say goodbye in my own way. Forty years, and soon it'll all be dust. That's the best sound stage we ever built. We made all our Count Vampire pictures on that stage. Oh, what a box office smash we had with him. I remember. I was in some of them. That's right, you were, Fred. Nobody did it any better than we did. And you know why? Because I knew what the public wanted, to be scared out of their wits. That's why I gave them the most terrifying characters ever created. Claw, Wolfman, Scarface, The Mummy, and Dr. Death. Dr. Death? I don't remember him. He never caught on like the others. He was too diabolical, too evil. An emissary of the devil who specialized in, in the taking over of human bodies. Once he got bored with one, he'd move on to someone else. Men, women, even unborn children. <sighs> Sounds awful. He was, especially his eyes. Once he selected his victim, his eyes seemed to burn into that person's soul. <laughs> he probably was way, way ahead of his time. Fred. Fred, what, what's the matter? Wait a minute, Fred, come back here. Fred!
resting comfortably. She's been through a severe trauma. I think for her sake and the babies, we better get her to a hospital. I'll phone for an ambulance. Anything you say. Can I see her? Yes, of course. She's badly shaken. Any idea what caused it? I'm not sure. Don't say a word now. Everything's gonna be just fine. Who are they? What do they want? I don't know. Yes, you do. Please tell me, I have to know. Everything's gonna be all right. Fred, I'm not a child that has to be protected and cherished. Tell me what's going on. Well, I don't know how. But all those characters we created in the old days, they've taken on lives of their own. And they inhabit that place, the old studio. And they want to live on after it's destroyed. What's that got to do with us? They want me to choose. What? Why? They were performing, auditioning, trying to win my approval so that one of them could... The baby. They want to possess the baby. They're gone now. What if they come back? They won't. I promise you. Never again. I promise. The ambulance is on its way. If you like, you can ride with your wife. Uh, no, I have to do something else first. I'll see you at the hospital. Fred. What if the baby's not all... All right, because of them. It'll be all right. I promise. supposed to be on duty? I got an emergency call. They said you flipped out and took off. I'm finishing up your shift. Oh, I'm OK now. Uh, open up, will you? Hey, come on. There's no reason for you to stay. I can't. What? Fred, you've been fired. Fillmore left orders never to let you on the lot again. But I got to get back in there. It's like you always said, orders are orders. Johnny, please. Let me come in and collect my gear, at least. Please. OK, there's no harm in that. But you got to get out of here fast. Hey, no hard feelings, huh?
Excuse me, uh, my wife was brought in here earlier this evening by Dr. Richardson. Oh, you must be Mr. Colby. That's right. Your wife went into labor ten minutes after she arrived. In labor? Is she all right? Well, she's fine. You'll find her in room 421. Baby. What about the baby? It's over. It's all right. Just like you promised. Here's Daddy. 